Okay, so hello there. It's me, Ishop's Productions, right here. I'm just gonna put some stuff in my inventory real quick. Uh, where's this one go? I'm trying to keep things in order. This one's one that I do not have many of. There. Okay, perfect. That's crap. Don't need, don't need. Put this here. So sell that. Sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. Perfect. Okay, so what are we? We are a paladin. That's my nice shield. If I do this, it turns into a holy shield. Gives us like extra defense. Show you my gear. So I've got a normal yellow scepter, normal gloves, a life steel ring. So when I hit, I steal life. Gold wrap, which uh, basically gives me a higher chance of getting magical items drop, which is nice. Uh, death ring that steals mana. Got some lightning resist, and uh, I've got some tear haunt greaves, which give me uh, faster run warp speed, uh, some defense, and all that other stuff. Then uh, the rest of my gear. Oh, and the amulet is just a random yellow one. But my main gear here is uh, I've got rune words uh, so i've got stealth which is like a unique rune word you combine these two runes together it makes the word stealth and then you get like loads all them blue bonuses there same with the helmet law or you combine or soul together and you get like a plus one to all skills and then rhyme which is shale and etherune together and then you get like lots of uh, extra stuff on your shield which is nice um and yeah, we are basically, oh, and that's my mercenary. He's got a uh, similar gear. He's got, uh, well, he's got the same stealth room word chest, which is nice, but he needs better weapon and helm, but we'll get him that eventually. So um, this character works in the way that I just pop my shield and keep my defense up all the time. And then this electricity around me, it actually electrocute anyone near me so I don't actually have to attack them I can just run around them in circles until they die which is quite cool uh, I'm playing hardcore so if I die I die for good so that's dangerous uh, what else have we got if uh, the enemy has a lot of uh, like uh, cold damage fire lightning or poison I've got this and the, this is a resistance aura here um, and what I'd do is I'd put this on, I'd hit them normally and I'd get this, my uh, follower to just attack them instead. And then if I need to get around faster, I've got this, which just makes me run a lot faster. But most of the time I'll just be keeping this on and going for it. So let's get started. I'll show you. Um, shield up, skill shrine. And I'll show you how this works. Basically, you can see, you know, just my, my mercenary does a lot of damage as well but basically I'm just walking near them and half of their health is just disappearing straight away and uh, yeah it's quite nice you can watch here for example see like both of them died at the same time and that's because basically uh, of that damage like the damage is not always the best like there it was good it, it scales for all like here for example i'm not going to engage all them i'm just going to let my mercenary do everything here and my electricity and they should all see they just drop around me it's pretty cool pretty nice so that one's immune to lightning though so that's a problem so i've got to hit this one sadly but my mercenary will handle it so my mercenary is there if they're immune to lightning He's there to clean them up, basically, which is nice. Um, but I chose lightning because um, there's very few things in the game that are actually immune to lightning, whereas there's a lot of things that are immune to fire and ice. So, yeah. And we've just got to be very careful with our health because, yeah, if we die, game over, man. It's game over. So, got to... Play it safe. Oh, that's let him handle that. See, he does a fair bit of damage just whacking it there. Perfect. Oh, 
and yeah it's it's quite a fun one to play because you don't really have to you know worry too much about like getting close like if there's a really powerful boss you can literally just run around and kite them and that's how i uh oh that was a nice yellow drop there uh take that take that take all the gear put this in here that was another trick i learned recently uh keep your horodric cube in your inventory and it actually gives you an extra load of space so you've got like all these extra slots so it's like a little inventory within your inventory sort of thing which is nice uh, so we'll go back to Deckard and we'll um, get him to identify. Ah, greetings. You have quite a treasure there in that Roderick cube. Okay. Greetings. Ah, greetings. Okay, let's see. What did we get? Anything good? Uh, that's quite nice. Damage reduced. Fire resistance. 10% damage goes to mana half freeze. That's not that great. Eight to strength. Lightning resist. 39. Hmm. Like the one we've got is actually nice as well. Oh gosh. That's a nice amulet. Two to offensive auras. Paladin only. Oh that's tempting. Because that would basically make... One second here. If I go to my skills. Offensive aura 23. Whereas if I unequip that. What are we on? 21. So it gives like plus two, which is super nice. You know what? We might just keep that on. I think we can get away with it. Let's give it a go. We'll we'll see how we do. If we start taking too much damage, we'll put the other one back on. But um yeah. We'll keep both of them though, because they're good. Um that might be good for my follower, this one, if he can wear it. He can. Is it better? Life 935. I'll put that to good use. 25 lightning. So I'll put that to good That one gives him more lightning resistance, which is probably better. Okay, let's do that. Keep this one in our inventory. Uh we keep we can sell that one. How may I help you? Okay. Uh sell, 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 sell. And then the little trick. Uh oh yeah, I forgot about that. Amazon. We'll keep that in here. No, actually we'll sell that because I'm not gonna make an Amazon. Um so with these rejuve potions, you put three in the cube combine and you get a full potion and these ones are like very uh very strong so i always keep three of them they're like panic buttons basically if you if you start dying you want to pop one of them because i've got a load in my uh, bank as well for backup but yeah okay so let's go again arcane so we went this way this way so let's try this way Yeah, what we're trying to do is uh, find the right way to go so we can get to Duriel. Um, I don't know if I can solo Duriel. I might have to find a party for that, but uh, we'll see. But for now, we'll just uh, go through the Arcane Sentry. But so uh, yeah, I'm really liking this character. He's uh, quite strong. You know, he's, it's nice just watching things, like, die around you without touching them sort of thing. You can literally just, like, walk around people like this guy watch. See? Just don't even have to touch him. Nice. I do need uh, slightly uh, better gear, though, just to um, protect myself a bit. Because my health sometimes shoots down quite... Quite rapidly, and it, uh, it can be a bit scary in hardcore mode, so yeah. But we'll see. It's usually only against uh, bosses, to be honest. Oh, one second, uh, doing a question. Uh, see. Just need to check that she's out shopping. Uh, okay, that's cool. Perfect. Okay. Oh, always good. Always good. 
Um, okay. Be like that. That like one shot them then. Ah, uh, lame. But like here, like if I didn't want to fight these, I, I could just run around like this and then they all drop. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, large charm. And you know, just let him handle that on his own. And then we'll go back. Must be the final way. But yeah, we're on nightmare mode at the moment, which is like the middle mode. Um... And then once we've done Nightmare, then we go on to Hell. But to be honest, I will stick in Nightmare for a long time because going into Hell is a really big jump in difficulty and that is where you will die. I like these. See, these are champion ones, so I don't really want to engage them. So I just sit back, let him engage and just let my electricity tick away at them as well. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, basically we want uh, mostly a better weapon. Uh, we want to find a... Uh, I've got a rune ready, a rune word, which are like... Rune words are the best things you can get in the game, basically. I never knew this before when I played Diablo, but these... Where you combine these runes to make stuff, these are the best you can get. So what I need is I need a scepter like this, but I need it with four sockets on it. And then I create a four piece rune word and that creates like an uber awesome item with loads of electric damage on it, which would be like perfect for this character. So yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, this won't be a long video. It's just going to be like a short one because um, I just wanted to test it and make sure the graphics card won't overheat. Like at the moment it's at 52%, so it should be fine. It's when it goes up to 100% that the issues uh, with my voice and everything start coming along. So, yeah, we should be okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's nice because this character, he can wear heavy armor as well without any problems. So he's quite, quite strong, quite tanky compared to like a sorceress, for example. Like sorceresses are like glass cannons. They kind of, they dish out a lot of damage, but they can take a lot of damage as well, if that makes sense. So, gotta be careful then. There we go. Okay, this should be where the summoner is. Oh, not yet. In a second. After this, okay, where are you? He'll be here. Oh, no. Almost there. Or have I missed him completely? I think I've gone. I'm going backwards now. I think I'm not sure. One sec, let's just put some more potions on my belt. I think we're going back. Yeah, we're going backwards now. One second. I think I missed that. I wish I'd gone through one of those other portals there. Maybe this one? Then this one. Ah, here we go. This is it. This is it. Gotta be careful here because that sorceress dishes out a shit ton of freaking damage. I can't get hit. It's alright, he's... Oh. I'm just going to run around him because I don't want to engage him. There we go, he's dead. See? Perfect. In peace, tortured soul. What's that? It's an axe. And uh, one of them. Okay, cool. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha. Tal Rasha. Okay, so we've got to the last part of act two um let's see what this is like around here just what the mobs are like if i can handle them or not oh there's a boss there so i don't want to engage him i'll instead i'll kite him around a bit because these ones hit quite hard 
difficult. And those uh, scarabs are dangerous as well because they have lots of electric damage. So, yeah, just let him do all the tanking. I'll just, you know, kite them around. And they all start dropping. There we go. There we go, let him handle that. See, it's quite a cool way of doing it. You don't have to put yourself in too much danger, which is nice. Uh, what's this splint mail? One. So the grey items, it was funny. I never used to pick up grey items when I previously played Diablo. I thought they were stupid because I just thought you put like gems in them and that was it. But it's, it's these grey items that are the best in the game. You need to look for these. But you need to pick them up. You need to see how many sockets they've got and how, many, how much defense they have on them. And then if they're good, then they're the ones you should put your runes in and make rune words. See, like this is, is nice. Just kiting these big boys around and watching them all drop one by one. Large charm. There we go. Oh, one second. Join again. Um... Oh, one second. All good. Um, or oh, skull. Take a skull. Skulls are what you can put into your weapon to. Oh, wait. We need to check which one. Uh, not a triangle. You need to check the symbols on tombs. That's a circle, not that one. We're looking for that symbol, like the two downward arrows. Put on our thingy to run a bit faster. There we go, it's this one, I think. Yeah. Oh, big boys. Don't want to engage them. They're dangerous. I can, like, attack one while he's slow, but see, like, how much uh, damage he does to me. So I didn't have my electricity on. There we go. Thanks. Got to give uh, health potions to my... Uh, die as well because he he's quite tanky but you know he does take damage as well so you gotta gotta protect him pick up some more healing potions okay But yeah, if ever I'm a bit worried about like, you know, engaging someone, I'll just sort of, uh, you know, do this, just run around them, wait until they're low and then finish them off. But also there are some characters uh, that explode on death. So you want to like stay away from them as well. Just let him do it, you know, so I'll just do this. Let Like that green one there, see, he, or the blue him there, he'll probably explode no he didn't but you know he could have gotta be careful play it safe bless me it's nice so i really like this character he's cool i used to have uh, one similar to this in diablo um back in the day which was also my favorite character but he was a um a cold one so he didn't have electricity he had like a cold aura and he was good but like i said when i got to nightmare difficulty it got quite hard because there were so many uh monsters and minions that resisted cold damage so it was like really hard to actually kill a lot of stuff i had to like skip a lot of uh enemies but with this guy, I can, like, mostly kill, you know, most things, to be honest. So it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. See, so just stay, stay safe. Let him do all the hard work and me just tickle them down. There we go. Take all the healing. Oh, 
found the tomb. This is where the boss is. Um, it will be dangerous to engage him, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll give it a go, but if it looks dangerous, I'll just quit the game and not engage him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if my, uh, my guy will be able to withstand that damage either, so, but we'll see. Ocean. Okay, so let's give it a go. Like, I'm hoping I might just be able to do this. And tickle him down, you know? Just put, put a resistor on, see how much damage my guy does. Because he does cold damage, Duriel. But I'm thinking. I just want to see how much like I don't do much damage thanks uh, that's gonna take a long long time we could do it it's just gonna take forever I'm gonna put the resistor on see if that helps thanks I think uh, our geezer's gonna die maybe yeah, he's dead. Bugger. Like, I could do it. I could literally just run around for days like this. And he will take slight light, lightning damage. It's so stupid, but it will work. Oh. But he has got that cold aura, so you have to be careful. Because he will catch me. Need some Benny Hill music here, I think. Okay, how are we doing? He's he's going down. I'm I'm just gonna do this to be honest. I'm not taking hardly any damage. It's gonna take a long, long time though. But I'm okay with that. Okay, he's on the E. Oh, he got a little cheeky slash at me there. Okay, almost on the eye, coming up on the eye. Oh, that's the only thing. My stamina is going to run out, and that's uh, not good. Tell you what gonna go out I'm gonna resurrect my my dude Faith, I think good day Second. good day uh, Attaching all these uh, lemon to life no no that's all right keep that skills okay keep that these are just the things I'm putting in my bank so I can uh, you know, make a nice, uh, what you call it, a collection for my other characters sort of thing. So, okay, let's go and resurrect our friend. Bring him back. Reading. Bring him back, sing him back. wonder if I can buy stamina potions from here. There's nothing. The right potion yes, I can. One second.
Sorry, Joanna's just <laughs> randomly offering if she's found a guinea pig and she's asking if I want it and I'm like, no, not really. Like I would, but I think I'd get too attached and uh, guinea pigs die quite quickly if I remember rightly, so... Okay. So I'm going to just keep running round. I'm hoping that my dude doesn't get caught, but Doria was going for him, which is not what I intended. Oh, there we go. He's on me. So good. There we go. That's how I want it. Yeah, that's what we want. So just run around the outside and uh, we'll be okay. Oops. Oh no, come back. Don't die, my friend. Duriel's being a douchebag. Come and attack me, Duriel, you bastard. Come on. Leave him alone. Leave Chalan alone. Chalan. Don't know if it's Chalan or Shalan. Probably Shalan. Okay, we're going for it. Get physical. Thanks. No, no, no. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, Barry. Leave him alone, Barry. Run away, Chalan. Run away. Come on, run away, run away. I just have to keep doing this, I think, until, you know, run to the other side of the room so he doesn't get caught by Duriel. There we go. At me. Oh! Ah, here we go. Come on, attack me. No, come, come to me, come to me. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's better. Yeah, stay on me. Stay on me. Oh. No. Ah, it's alright. He's almost dead. I think we got him. Maybe. Come on, Doriel. Go down. Stop being awkward. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill Shalan. Run away, Shalan. Run away. No! Shalan died. He got crystallized. He's not even a corpse. He got blown up. But it's okay. We can resurrect him. Doriel will pay for his crime. He's going to fall over and die in a minute. Watch him. Come on, Doriel. Such a cool boss. Like... Such a badass. Come on. Come on, Dora. Cool over. There we go. Absolute crappy dropped, but still, that'll do. Take it all anyway. And there, we're on to Act 3. That's pretty cool. We'll have to resurrect Shalan again, though. But, you know, Shalan did his job. Thank you, mortal, for there he is. Look at Tyrion. What a badass. Love that like model such a cool looking guy and there we go that, that is uh act two done destroying all you i will destroy all primeval good yes. to see you this good to see you what we got anything good no 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 due to war cries that could be good i think keep that 3% run faster, no, that's crap. Okay, perfect. So I didn't actually think we'd be able to do that, so I've impressed myself. Uh, let's resurrect Shalan again. Yes. Poor Shalan. There we go, he's back. He's ready. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think that will be it for this video. I, I just wanted to make a short one and test everything out and everything like that, so yeah. Now that never 
we'll speak to Warriv and uh, yeah, we'll be going on to Act 3, which is the jungle one with Mephisto. Read it, Gerund. Ahoy! Gerund tells me I should take you east. There we go. Act 3 it is. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Welcome to Karas. Perfect. I don't like this act. This one scares me a lot because there's a lot of things that can kill you like very fast in this act. But uh, yeah, that's a problem for future us. Just checking the weapons. Nothing good. Okay, perfect. So hope you enjoyed watching. I've set foot in glorious Kurast for many years. Ooh. I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Ooh. Certainly, this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there, and you must find them. I must find Diablo and Bale and Mephisto. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.